Let's play darts. Cool. And try and wind the finger. I'm on a mission to become a successful darts player. I need to get from armchair fan and total novice to genuine contender. Let's play darts! The learning curve will be steep and arduous, but with tips and inspiration from the masters... Oh, yeah, yeah. I feel I'm going to try and become a blade. Yeah. You're going to treat you as a dart player and rip your head off. With practice and dedication... How much do I need to drink to take it from that to that? And a large helping of luck. <laughs> Who Come knows? Yeah, Give me ten points, then I'll show you some darts. You want to see some darts? In six weeks' time, I'll enter the International Darts Open. Prove myself there, and I can turn professional. And the other pros better watch out. Watch out, Peter One Dart Manley. Watch out for the power tailor. <laughs> darts is big business. The stars of the game can earn huge prize money. The fans go wild for it, and the big live events are packed out. There might only be a handful of players good enough to earn a living from it, but a quarter of the UK population have played darts, and two million play competitively. Make that two million and one. And this one's got big plans. The International Open's coming up, and if I can go there and give a good account of myself, then I could turn pro. My first task is to find the dartboard I've had tucked away in my garage for years, nestling under some creosote. Mahogany finish. Hasn't been out at all, really. Well, once. Argus, they call it. Guess who? Argos. Stars and Stripes flights. I don't think they're tungsten, but they'll have to do. I'm not quite sure of the correct height from the f floor, are you? There should be a set of instructions, but I'm not sure if I kept the box. It is my favourite sport, and I know that darts is incredibly hard, and it's nowhere near as easy as it may appear to some people. And that's a solid concrete wall, it's not. But when you watch darts, you sort of think, I, I could do that. That bullseye, to me, looks just about level with the top of my nose. So that can't be far wrong, can it? I'm not sure about distance. The Oki distance. About six feet is right, isn't it? Is that a paper tape measure? Yeah. It came with the board. Here you go. That's the Oki. And that actually seems about right. I've never found a sport that I'm, that I'm any good at, genuinely. If there is a sport out there that I can get up to a, a decent standard, oh. then it would be darts. I think I could be pretty good, with a lot of effort. Oh, again! The board's obviously wrong. I mean, if you look at the treble, there's a staple right through the middle of that treble 20 bed. My hockey may be a child's bowling pin, my board riddled with staples, but my family are here to offer encouragement and support, and my son Archie has even offered to put up a scoreboard for me. You put up a scoreboard? Yeah, scoreboard. But if I'm going to be a pro, I need to act like a pro. So, for inspiration, I'm going to watch some in action. Tonight, in Cardiff, it's the Premier League final. This is the big time. Broadcast live on Sky Sports, there are still 5,000 fans here to witness it firsthand. The final is between James the Machine Wade, a young up-and-comer, and Phil the Power Taylor, 13 times world champion, considered by many to be the greatest player of all time. In front of a raucous, boisterous and downright overexcited crowd, Phil not only keeps his cool, he keeps hitting treble 20 after treble 20, scoring the maximum 180 points. He crushes his opponent and before long is on the verge of victory. The power wins 16-8 and trousers a check for £100,000. After the match, I meet Steve, the power's agent, who takes me to the VIP area where Phil is expected shortly. What do you think of the atmosphere? Phenomenal. The place was packed out and they were mad. It is. I mean, darts is, I think it's the last bastion of working man sport. If you're looking there tonight, you've got welders, builders, bricklayers. You have to experience playing in front of five, six thousand people to, to appreciate the, the, the pressure. 
You can't practice shitting yourself, as Phil says. That's one of Phil's great sayings, and Phil's right. You cannot practice shitting yourself. And he's the master at it, not shitting himself. He is a monster, as Edith Piaf would say. A monster. He's the greatest sportsman in the world. I agree with you. So we're we'll Babe Ruth, yeah. Jesse Owens, Don Bradman, Pele. Pleasure to meet you. Hello, Mr. Taylor. Oh, yeah. Really you great Friday. to meet you. That How was going to take the piss out of me, isn't it? No, I'm not. <laughs> you do, that's what no, you do. I'm not. No, 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 no. I swear to God, darts is my favourite sport, and I've grown up with darts. It's my favourite sport. Seriously? I swear to God. I have watched you a, a hundred times, two hundred times on TV, and I've never actually been there in the oh, room. Mate, so you were. Come here. Okay, now. I'm loving my throat. It's a masterclass. Phil, I'm going to try and become a. Play? Yeah, I'm going to try and play. I absolutely love it. Yeah. And I re I'm giving it everything. I'm giving it absolutely well, everything. You. It's like being a boxer and you got him against the ropes, and then all of a sudden they think, I'm going to get beaten. And then they come out firing. You've just got to play better than what they do. Get the guard down there, whack them as hard as you can. I'm sorry, but that's what it's like. Yeah. You've got to get it in there. Perhaps some of Phil's magic would rub off on me. It's unlikely, I know, but I keep hugging him just in case. Guess who Dad met last night? Phil the Power Taylor. Completely inspired by that. Not again. The greatest darts player in the history of the world. Dad, not again. Well, first time I've met him. Uh... Meeting the Power last night made me realise that if I'm going to go pro, maybe I should get a nickname too. It's an area ripe for creativity. My initials, obviously, JLC. So something in JLC, the JLC, the the you know the, the hairy the hairy the yeah. hairdo, the, the hair the hair the um the hair not the hair the hair, um the Vikings already gone. Andy Fordham's got that. No. The Golden Compass. Could be called the Golden Compass. Golden Compass. Here yeah. he is, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome the Golden Compass. So a lot of what? Yeah. A lot of heckling. Yeah, he don't know where he's going. He's all over the place. That's not going to work. I think it really does have to, to mean something. The Bristol Flyer. The Bristol Flyer. Thank you, Archie Bear. The Bristol Flyer is a winner already. This is the first of many. Yeah. This is just the beginning. Coming up, that's where I'm throwing from. Rob, you got a tape measure? There's some frank advice for me from the professionals. So that's absolutely a waste of time, what you've been doing. And you can take darts out of the pub, but you can't take the pub out of darts. What's the ideal amount of alcohol for me? How much do I need to drink to take it from that to that? The International Darts Open is getting closer and closer. I've been practicing in my garage all week, but there's no ignoring the fact that I need help. I need guidance, I need a mentor. Hello, Keith. Uh, yeah, okay. Keith Denner is a former world champion and has been a successful pro for many years. You've been kind to him today. It and is it again. Kind again. Am I too side on Keith? Should I? No, your throw's good. You're... Thankfully, Keith's agreed to meet me at his local to give me a frank and honest assessment of my game. Your back leg should be just sort of keeping your balance, and then the only thing that should move is your arm. Uh, 